Good morning and welcome to your Friday 5 for 5 here on this Friday, December the 11th. Can you believe Christmas is just a couple weeks away? It's just hard to believe that we're getting so close to Christmas. Well, last week I started a little kind of mini-series talking about the words of Christmas. And we looked at hope last week. And this week I want us to look at the word peace. You know, you see peace thrown around everywhere this time of year. It's on uh, no doubt Christmas cards that you get. We hear it in lots of songs. Um, I've even seen it in people's light displays. You'll see peace spelled out in Christmas lights. And it seems that in a year, especially like this, a lot of folks are looking for peace. Um, this time of year seems to bring us all to peace. But you know, a lot of times the Christmas season can be nothing but peaceful. We've got all these parties we've got to go to. We've got all of this uh, stuff we've got to buy and wrap. And this year it may be having to ship a lot of things here and there because we're not going to be able to gather together. And so when you think about all those things, maybe the last word that comes to your mind when you think about Christmas is peace. And I know I can't help but think about driving. Um, where we used to live in Greenville before God brought us here to the islands, there was a road called Woodruff Road, and Woodruff Road was just the main shopping hub of the area. It was a long road, and there were shops everywhere on that road. But you knew that right before Thanksgiving until right after Christmas to avoid that road at all cost, because there was nothing but chaos on that road, and you were going to have trouble, and it was going to test the faith of any person that got on that street. Anything but peace is what we got on that street. But, you know, when we think about all of the, the, the idea of, of Christmas, it's so easy to get distracted by all of that peripheral stuff. It's so easy to get distracted by the traffic, by all that we have to accomplish, by all that we're not going to get to do this year, by all of the stuff that we lose sight of peace. You know, I love this old sermon illustration I heard years ago, and it talks about the Messiah, and it says only God can bring a Messiah out of a mess. M-E-S-S-I-A-H is the word Messiah. The very first few letters of that are M-E-S-S, -S, mess. Only God could bring a Messiah out of a mess. No doubt it didn't seem like there was any peace for Mary or for Joseph, as things were going crazy in their world, as everything seemed to be just out of their control and in total chaos. But yet God brought the Messiah through the middle of that mess, through the middle of that chaos, he brought the peace of the world. You know, even when things get stressful this time of year, even when we can't understand what's going on, we know that God brings peace. I love in Luke chapter 1, verses 46 and 47, Mary says, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God. You know, that doesn't sound like a, a teenage girl that is in chaos and has no peace. That sounds like a girl who knows where her peace lies, and that is in Christ. Isaiah chapter 26, 3. I want to leave you with this verse today as you think about peace throughout this Christmas season. Isaiah 26, verse 3 says, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. In the midst of all the chaos that we can find ourselves in on any Christmas season, but especially this Christmas 2020. Let's keep our focus on him, the one who can take all the chaos and can bring a Messiah out of all the mess that the world can create. You can have perfect peace if we keep our minds on him and our focus on things above. Love you guys. Hope you have a great day. We look forward to seeing you Sunday morning. Bye-bye.